Let's fucking go. Oh, that's so dirty. Oh, what the f Uh... <laughs> ah! She's... Alright, calm down, calm down. Hello everyone, my name is Lucael and welcome back to episode 14 of Elden Ring. It's Tuesday, I hope you guys had a nice weekend. Thank you for joining me again today. I apologize if I look a little tired. I feel like I say this in every video, but uh, I had really bad sleep today, so uh, <laughs> I feel like my eyes are really tired, so uh, apologies in advance. So as you know, last time we were exploring the Einzel River, the lair of the ants. And we had just defeated the Dragonkin soldier of Nuxtella. And uh, there's still lots more to explore. We haven't seen like any of this up here, all this, all this. And then there's like that weird fucking giant centipede uh, just right here. So we're gonna try to clear the Ainsel River today and then uh, keep exploring Yurnia. So grab yourself a little drink or a little snack. And without further ado, let's jump right back in. Alright, so my plan from here was to go over there. Like so far we've only explored these these few tunnels. Really not that much of this place. Um, this was kind of locked off. It doesn't look that way on the map, but like this this room is kind of closed. So we need to somehow get to the other side here without getting killed by that cosmic centipede. I really don't know what the fuck it is. Will Palace Ruins. Yeah, I just wasted that. Uh, just need like a second to get back into things because I haven't touched this game in like over a week. Also, no... Ah, oh, it's on me. I want to take a better look at this thing. Oh, it has a face! Ew, it has like a human skull face and do you see there's an eye in that hole? What the fuck? That's a crazy design. It's like holding hands. It has like rings around. That's like the wildest fucking creature we've seen in this game so far. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, uh. I mean, there's really no way for me to attack it all the way up there, so I, I guess you're not. It's more like a stage hazard. You're not really supposed to fight it. It might drop down at some point and like start fucking swinging, but. Oh, fuck. Alright, let's just. Hurry and get out of here. Let's try to stay undercover. Still grab the items. Oh, hey guys. I don't have much to lose right now. I don't have any souls at all, so. Ah, fuck. Oh, shit. Alright, let's just get out of here. Uh, these are silver fireflies. Got these clay men, but they seem to be minding their own business. Oh wait, can I not pass through here? I can't. How am I supposed get to the other side. Oh, I have to climb. Okay. I see, I see. Um... You guys... What did you just throw at me? Wait, no. How the fuck... 
These guys are a nuisance. I'm just trying to figure out the lay of the lands here, but like this thing keeps shooting at me. These guys are like shooting stuff at me. Oh, it also hurts them. That's funny. It hurts them, but it, it's not shooting at them. It only shoots at me. Let's uh, let's figure this out. It's like there's no way to get to the other side. Can you like give me a hint? Well, divorce from one's trade does not come easily. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you like give me just a little hint about how the fuck I'm supposed to get out of here? Maybe you can't. Maybe you have to come in from another place, but because like I can't go up there. And I can't seem to be able to get up there either, unless I'm like just not seeing it. And this was locked off, so maybe this is all that you can explore. Maybe you need to come in from an another place. But like I see these columns there, which makes it look like you can like climb up there. There's no way for me... I think there's a way to get down from there, but not from here to there. Yeah, I don't see it. Like, clearly there's a... there seems to be a door behind this thing. This is quite the pickle. Ow. Can't go anywhere from here. This might be it for now, I think. I can't see a way. Can't see a way there. So, a uh, change of plan. I guess we're not gonna be exploring this place. So, let us return to the surface for now. I'm sure we'll find our way down here eventually. If it really is possible to climb up there from where I was, and there's no other entrance to the Ancel River, just let me know. But I really doubt it. Look at this beautiful view. So pretty when it rains. Alright, I didn't... Uh, I still haven't checked out that building there. We've got like... A little caravan here. It's more of these fire monks. That's expected. Ooh, ouch. Oh, you hit pretty hard. I'm a little rusty, I haven't played this game in like a whole week. Shit! Oh, the delay. That was really bad. <laughs> that was really bad on my part. I'm like, need to wake up. I wonder when we'll meet this little Santa Claus, Saint Nick looking ass. Oh, it's not raining anymore. Alright, let's do better this time. It's only three of them. A regular guy. Yeah, he looks just like a normal guy. He's not like a skull face or anything like that. These might be like normal people. They just love fire. Just a 
trap's dead. All right. So I didn't get to find out last time, but I still want to know what this building is. This big tower. Got more of these fire monks. So what? Okay, there's a set of grace in there. Okay, we've got magicians, some nice little blue flowers. What's with all the blue flowers? I mean, it's very pretty, but... The Carrion Study Hall. The Carrion, that's the royal family, right? That's the guys that own the academy, I think? O oh, celestial globe, transmit to posterity the wisdom of the moon and stars, and obscure forever transgressions of the princess. The princess. Who's the carrion princess? Examine pedestal. Something fits. Okay, so we need an item to activate this globe. Oh, this might be like a full dungeon? I just thought it was gonna be like a... just a side of grace and like some... Okay, so we, we can get on this. Is it gonna go down or up? Going up. This leads to the, the bridge. I'm getting Dark Souls 3 vibes right now. Are the bugs gonna start grabbing me? Am I gonna get to dunk my head in wax? I knew this was a fucking trap. Oh, they're like magicians. Or summons. Magical projections. These are just like the ones that were fighting at the gates. Okay, and then they just vanish. Um, a study hall, huh? I guess the flowers were blue just because of like the magic coming from this place. I just hope this place is not like the study hall from Bloodborne, because that place was a fucking nightmare. Oh, hello. I'll be right with you in just a moment. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't think my blood sword's gonna do much here. See, I want to dodge this like a regular arrow, but it's actually a lot slower. Oh, it's a... Uh... Fuck. Receptor Miriam. Stop with this shit. Oh, you're gonna fucking teleport? You're just gonna leave? You're just gonna be a little... Bitch. Oh, of course, you're gonna go there with your friends, huh? Ah, oh, you bitch. Ah, fuck. Alright, alright, alright. Oop! I'll bite. Yeah, yeah, keep running. Keep running. I 
I don't think I even need to be fighting these guys. Can't run anymore. Okay, maybe you can. Stop it. Ah, oh, you ran again. I'm just gonna be like pursuing this person all throughout this place. All of this tower. At least these guys aren't too much of a problem. Carrion Glinstone Staff. That makes sense. Okay, we got another elevator. Let's keep our guard up. Never know what the Miriam be up to. Miriam. I just want to talk. There she is. Preceptor Miriam. Let's fucking go. Oh, that's so dirty. Oh, look at that. She's fucking... She's warping mid-shot. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Okay, she's really like just leading us along this path. And I'm just following her, falling into the trap. At least when she warps, she, she ends up behind a fence. I'm out of fucking healing. Alright, it's now or never. Stop running! God damn it. God damn it, she's really just gonna... I just know she's gonna get me before I can get there, and then I'm gonna have to climb all the way back up there. How big is this place? Ooh. Is this just like a circle? She might be able to run like forever. Fuck. I think this is just a circle. I really wish I could heal right now. It's just a circle, isn't it? Yeah, it is. There. Oh, okay, so there's no way to really get to her unless I can, like, be fast enough? Really annoying. <laughs> That's so fucking annoying. This might be easier if I was, like, using magic, because then you can attack her from a distance, but... Let me check real quick if there's anything else around this. Because I'm hearing a scarab. Yep, right there. What do you have for me? Welcome back here. Okay, a smitting stone. It's alright. I can't believe I ran out of healing. Well, now I'm gonna know what to expect, so I'm less likely to just run out of healing. 
Alright, nothing behind the building. Okay, nothing here. Alright, I just had to check that there's nothing behind there. Carrion Study Hall. I wonder if I can upgrade my sword. Do I have armor that's like strong against magic? That's kind of the best I have already. And eh, this one. A little better, but... This is Fashion Souls, baby. It's excessive attacks. Mm. I, I'm gonna try that, actually, because I don't think I can do too many... Critical uh, with these guys because they just kind of vanish. But if I can do success successive attacks, it might give me a fighting chance. Also, do I have a shield that's good against magic? Oh, that's my best one. 50 only. Oh. Alright. We're just gonna have to dodge. My character looks very cool. I'm very happy with how she's looking right now. If I can, like, kill her early... If she's the one who's gonna fucking kill me. Oh. But she probably... She probably can't die that early. Oh, how the fuck that get me? Okay, just checking if she made me miss like any stuff around here because I was like in too much of a hurry. Like, ooh, ooh. I guess not. Oh, actually, I might be able. Because I kept climbing last time, but then I think I was just running around in a circle, so it might actually be possible to get my souls back. I mean, it doesn't really matter, I had like 2,000. Alright, go back down. Yep, they're right there. So I guess I'm just better off ignoring this person, basically. Because she's just gonna keep running away. So, fuck it. Let's just explore. You're too much of a puss to actually get close to me. I'm gonna use that to my advantage and just ignore you. But then she's gonna shoot me in the back. Oh well. I think we're just meant to climb up here. Ooh! Ah, oh, you bastard. Alright, what the hell are we doing up here? That's a rat. Oh, look at that. <laughs> just standing there. Oh, can I, like... Oh, if I could throw shit... But then I, I, I would probably fall. Because, like, the animation where you throw things always makes you step... Take, like, a step forward. I, I'm sure I would fall down. So where does this lead? What's up here? There doesn't seem to be anything up here. It's just, like... Rats? Am I supposed to get, like, jump down on these uh, chandeliers? Oh, maybe it's like so I can fall behind her. She probably has the item that I need. So, like, 
This is basically just an arena for you to kill that that girl. Oh no, there's another ladder. Oh, I hate fighting up here. I don't like fighting up here. I just know I'm gonna fall. Ugh, I don't like this. Ugh. Okay, no, you're supposed to keep climbing. I just, I hope she doesn't teleport up here. She'd better not. Because I'm just dead. If she comes up here, I'm just dead. Like, there's no way to defend against her. Kyrillian Seed Talisman. That might be the item I need. Uh, down on the altar. Okay, I don't think there's anything else up here. Oh. Okay, how can I get on that? Ooh. Ah, you're really just gonna fall behind me? Okay, where is Miriam? So I can, like, get behind her. She's just gone. Am I safe here? Let me read what I just found real quick. That has to be a key item, right? Oh, it's not. Is it a talisman? It did say talisman. I just assumed it was like a key item. Boost FP restoration from Flask of Coherent Tears. Okay. Uh, the Earth Tree was once perfect and eternal, and thus was it believed the Earth Tree seeds could not exist. Right, because if it's eternal, why would there be seeds for it to uh, reproduce? Okay, I think I just have to kill this girl. It's gonna be a struggle. She must be the one that holds the... That holds the key. Or is she just gone now? Oh, no, there she is. Oh, you were being sneaky, huh? I need to, like, just attack her faster than she can move. Oh, I got her! Give me your item. Magic downpour. That's it? Oh. She didn't give me any keys. Magic downpour. Okay. Is there any other... Maybe I missed something. Alright, guys. Y'all kind of just showed up out of nowhere, huh? Well, they give a pretty good amount of XP, I'll say. I guess... Okay, I guess there's nothing more here. Uh, still don't have the item for this, so we're just gonna have to keep moving. We're gonna have to just come back here later. Probably we're gonna find this item, like, maybe at the Academy. I'm really looking forward to seeing that academy, because uh, Stormville Castle was an awesome area. I really enjoyed it, even though some parts of it were frustrating, of course, but... Like, I'm really looking forward to what the main dungeons look like. So, I see a church up there that could be our next stop. Maybe get, like, another sacred tier. There's that giant protecting the Ainsel River uh, elevator. What do we have over here?
Oh, it's a bear. <laughs> I was like, I hear kind of... Like... Snoring? Snort me me me? It's just a nice bear. Taking a little nap after his meal. So many of these chairs. A stone sword key. Very nice. And they always face the earth tree. I noticed. Oh, it's another one of these fucking heads. It's like the one in the south of Lindgrave. You're gonna disturb the bear who is sleeping here. You rude bitch. How random. Just a magic head coming out of the lake. Not even the lake, a pond. You keep, uh... Sharpening those claws, I'm just gonna be out of here. Alright, I think that's all that there is down here. We might as well. Let's level up uh, faith. Health. Let's do faith. Alright, so we've explored... I haven't been down here, actually. Uh, let me check that out real quick. Just like this little area here. But it also loops back behind. So yeah, it might be worth checking out before we move on. Just want to be thorough, as you know. Even though it makes it so this playthrough is going to be like... Extremely long. Because I feel like I'm not even halfway through this game. It's already been like, what, 30 hours at least? We have wolves. Side of grace. Leads back down into the swamp lake. Okay. I don't know what's in this in these swamps. Like I'm kind of worried. They look haunted. Oh, there's a whole bunch of these things. Protecting an item. Oh, it's a summon. Land Squirt Ashes. What's with this music? I guess that's just the battle music of this area. So we got giant flowers. It seems to be most of what. Oh, hi. Uh, you go on with your day, I'm not gonna bother you. Like, I'm so used to the Limgrave music and battle music that whenever I hear a different music, I'm like, What's happening? What's happening? There's a little camp here. I actually really love this talisman. Because, you know, it feels like you're always missing like just that one little swing at right at the end of your combo. But with a combo that picks up in strength. Yeah, you don't have this problem. It looks like there was a 
Yeah, there was a bridge here. All the way across this lake, and it's broken. Okay, what are these things? Oh, this one is an enemy. But the previous ones I saw were not an enemy, so... What's up with that? Another side of grace. Damn, I missed a... Oof. Oof. I missed a bunch. They are very generous, I'll say, with the sides of grace. There's like a lot of them. There was kind of one missing around here. Another ghost. And I hear a scarab. Back here. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, that's the first one I see to explode. Sneaky little beetle. Alright, alright, I see you. I see you. Raya Lucaria, hallowed hall dedicated to the study of magic. Why shut your doors to me? Am I barred from donning the crown of stone? Apparently you are. Okay, this is that gate where we saw like all these summons fighting. Okay. Yep, they're still gonna show up. With these weird like statue heads. Uh, you don't mind if I grab that, do you? I'm gonna grab all these items. Hey, just be on your way. Go in the room. Over. All right, bye. I see no reason to take part in this. This ain't my fight. Another big bear. Staring at an item, just begging me to go there and grab it. Alright, I'll bite. What are you looking at? It's probably like flesh or something. Slaver of meat. As expected. Every time they lure you to like grab an item like that, it's always something lame. Ah. Spinning stone. Why am I hearing lightning? Um, oh, we have the map here. The map for the lakes, but I, I kind of want to wait until I've explored like all of this thing, all this stuff up there. Let's wait before exploring the lakes. Shall we? Let's explore like what we can actually see. Wait, have I been here? No, I've missed this somehow. What's with these heads? Okay, so I guess they were weapons. Because like you can see they have cannons and like you can see the like the mechanism inside. Here. Must have been some kind of defense system. Oh, and there's like some runes there. I because when I was uh, exploring up here, I stood like to the right. I didn't really explore the left part of it, so like I missed a bunch of stuff. Another caravan. 
purified runes. And we have a teleporter. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to check that out, huh? Just a dog. Okay, is there any like cellar in any of these buildings? Is this a church? No. Oh, of course, we have giant crabs, so why not giant lobsters? Um... I'm good, thanks. Oh! I almost didn't see you there. Hello? There's someone there. Would you donate any sugary grapes in your oh, possession you again. to me? I'm on a pilgrimage. And when I eat one of those grapes... Well, I don't have any new ones since last time, but I'll... I'll remember that you're here. Light Seeker Hyena. Oh wow, night... Whoa, did you see how fast it became night? Night fell very fast. There's like some kind of fortification up here. I missed all of this. <laughs> Coming through the first time. Uh, oh. Okay, these are kind of ruins. Come out, one and all, for the darkness underground, and let us offer unto the maiden our eyes. Grant us eyes, grant us eyes. All right, boys. Ah, oh, we got spotted right away. <laughs> Your low frame rate attack cannot defeat me. Are oh, you angry? This boy angry. They have sound on the alarm, so it's about to be a fucking mess in here. Oh, look at all of them. Oh, there's a lot of y'all. Ooh. Stop with your magic shit. That's why I have my wolves. Oh shit. Oh fuck. You're the one who sounded the alarm, aren't you? You snitch. Oh, you know what they say about snitches. Wolves are such a big help in these like big crowd crowded fights. They're such a huge help when it comes to uh, crowd control. Raya Lucarian Greaves. That's really just what I use them for, is just crowd control, because it's not like they do that much damage, but they really help not to be <laughs> surrounded by like 20 people. Um, is this place mentioned the underground? So there's definitely going to be some cellar. Cuckoo Glintstone? Cuckoo? See, this looks like. Oh! Aha, I knew it. What's gonna be down there? Something about darkness?
Huh. Oh, there's the Shibori grapes. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Two fingers heirloom. Raises faith. Oh, fingers cannot speak, yet these were eloquent. Persistently did they wriggle, spelling out mysteries in the air. Thus did we gain the words, the words of our faith. It's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny how these people saw these like giant creatures and they just decided let's build our whole faith around this thing. But you know what? Maybe they really do uh Maybe they maybe they're real. Maybe they really do reveal mysteries and uh speak to the finger readers. But I don't know. Sounds like superstition to me. Alright, where's Hyeda? Hyeda, I found your grapes. Let's not get seen by this fucking lobster. Never thought I'd have to say this in my life. Hello? Would you donate him on a pilgrim when I eat one of those grapes? You're not there like you go. the others who give me grapes, are you? They rest their trembling hands upon me. Howling wordlessly, they gently stroke my eyes. Their Do they? fingers, emaciated. Yet still, they give me the grapes. But you seem... Well, I'm not an undead. Firmer. And you're not going to give me anything. You're most kind indeed. May the blessing of the thing... The, I mean, I'm guessing this is a side quest that's going to lead to something eventually. But like, I don't think... I think she gave me like a gesture the first time. And this time she didn't even give me anything. Holy shit. Look at that view. I mean, it's kind of low-res, because I'm on PS4, but this looks awesome. Is this like another planet? Is this another... Is this just the moon? It's so awesome. Alright, um... I guess let's check out that teleporter. Oh. Hello. I was like, I hear things around me. Mushroom. Where was that teleporter? Where is this gonna take me? Only one way to find out! At least when you use those, you're not trapped on the other side, so you can just come back if it's a... Difficult area. Oh. Okay. Okay, it just took me like further west into an unexplored area of the map. And uh, this must be the magic seals they mentioned. Meeting place map. We found a simple map. Check in it. Enter. Meeting place map. Salmon seal. You cannot proceed without a glintstone key. Yeah. Uh, tough. Hopes. Tops. Talked about that. I found a map. A meeting place map. Found on a corpse. Seems to point to a meeting place. The man it came from surely desired one. The sole means of gaining entry into the academy. A glintstone key. Oh, did Toph make this? Um...
This doesn't look like a place I've seen yet. I don't think so. Uh, I guess we'll keep that for later. I could like look around a little bit around here, but I don't want to explore too much in places where I don't have the map. Oh. Oh, I'm like behind a bunch of dudes. So it's like a shortcut I got, kind of. Hey. I can't summon my wolves anymore. Actually... Yes, I can. Oh, you guys are just gonna give up that easily, huh? I'm insulted. Raya Lucarian gauntlets. I wonder if the Raya Lucaria set is stronger against magic, you would imagine, right? Ah, shit, this thing's gonna... Turn around. Surprise! Stop breathing your fucking fire. Do not burn my wolves! Your weird ass contraption. More fire blossom. I lost a wolf! I will never fucking forgive you. Oh. Coming. Oh, this one gave me a magic. Uh, I hear. Oh. Actually, I might be. I might right now be on the place that's shown on the map. That little kind of castle or fortress looking thing. This might be where I'm at right now. Oh, there's the... Oh, I'm gonna lose my wolves. I don't really need to talk to a finger reader right now. Okay, nothing back here. Oh, yes, there is. Hello, sir. Blue white windshield. Ooh. Got all these, like, tombs down there. And then. These flowers are, like, blue, are they? Like, maybe they're a different type than the ones we've seen so far. How oh, interesting. I guess, like, it could have been possible never to find this little shortcut teleport thing. And uh, showing up behind them definitely makes things a lot easier. Otherwise, I guess you would have had to fight through all of these guys. And they're, like, waiting for you. There doesn't seem to be any other enemies, but then why didn't the wolves just disappear? Oh, there he is. That's probably the last guy. Then they're gonna vanish. 
No? Hmm. Glintstone Firefly. Oh, there's like a full fucking village. There's like a little town. Okay, can I open this door? Now that I look at it, like it looks more obviously like a door. No. Alright, let's go see what that finger reader has to say. Great jar? The poor, poor fool. Or Alexander? Okay. Huh. I wonder if she's talking about the great jar. Michaela's favor. Michaela? I don't think we've heard about a Michaela yet. I feel like I've heard about a blade of Michaela, but... So definitely a beetle somewhere around here. Shit. I don't know what their damn beetle is. Oh, there's a crab. Hey, Mr. Crab. He's just eating. Academy Gate Town. Okay, well, we just invaded it from the inside. Why is there a state of America here? State of America. An American state. This place is very quiet at night. What? What the fuck are those? They've got like big heads? They look like Emil from near. Hello? Oh, what are you? Aliens? Gray aliens? What the hell? But there's a bunch of them. I don't know what they are. Uh, is Toph gonna be around here? Oh, 
Oh, don't lead me into a trap. Okay. Okay, just another smitting stone. I feel like something's gonna jump at me. Like, hmm. Oh, okay. Dude, they have like white blood. I did feel like someone was gonna jump me. Ooh, okay, very nice trick. Are you training for the Olympics? The big sickles. What are you guys? Frog people? Fish people? Alien people? Hey, dude. Well, they are very weak. So well, that's good? Question mark? Uh, man, without a map, I really don't know where the fuck... I guess I could go and grab that map there. Or... I didn't really want to reveal too much of the map too early, but... It would make... Navigating this place a little easier. Hello. Oh, there's so many of you. Especially if I want to... Oh, we got little tiny crabs. Especially if I want to find the place on the meeting map. I think that's a guy. That's not an enemy. Hello? Oh, it's uh. It's me, Dialos. Yeah, Dialos. Answer me, would you? Uh. Hello, friend. Tell me if you know, would you? The whereabouts of the hidden house of those despicable fiends. The recusants who hunt their fellow tarnished. They laid hands upon my servant Lanya, and I refused. Is that Lanya? Is she dead? Stand. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. I, Dialos, swear to deliver the message. Did I get here too late again? Could I have found her before she got killed? They laid hands upon my servant Lanya, and I refused to let the insult stand. The tale of House Hoslo, House Hoslo. is told in blood. I, Dialos, swear so you're Dialos to deliver Hoslo? the message. Oh man, uh, shit, was I late for another side quest or is this just meant to happen? Well, I'm sorry man, like I wish I could have found her in time. I feel like I'm gonna mess up all these side quests the first time around. I hope not. It just oh, and there's a set of grates right next to it. How convenient! Right, let's grab the map. Yornia North, so not West. I thought it was gonna be West. Although, because there's more West. <laughs> Holy shit! What is this? Is this the... Oh... That's the academy. That's the academy there. So the place we spawned at was kind of the gate to get into the academy, okay. Uh, and then the meeting map was something like west of the academy? But, like, I don't want to go there right now. I still have so much to explore. I don't think we explored these here, so I'm going to go back there for now. There's, like, so many places to go, so... I'm trying not to miss anything, and, like, I don't know if there's an order to do them for side quests or...
but I want to try and explore kind of the right side first. Because when you get the map, that's the first place you see. Um, so I think there was like some kind of tower. Oh, there it is. That, there's the tower there. This is going to be more of that star stuff. Yep, starlight shards. These can always be found right next to these... Uh, ...dials. Sundials. I think they're called. I don't think I've been here. Uh, excuse you. Excuse you, Highway Lookout Tower. Glinstone Craftman Cookbook. Oh, that's an enemy. It looks exactly like Selen. But I guess this one's a bad guy. Bye. Carrion Glint Blade. Glint Blade Staff. Oh, it would have been cool if it was an actual sword. Um, man, the Academy looks so cool. Look at that. That's awesome. From here you can really see how it's all the same tree. Just many times. I don't know if it's just because I'm on PS4, but... Um, there's some other... Like, church thing up there. Yep, that's a Church of Marika. Have I been to this one? I heard like footsteps. I was like, in my mind, I was like, maybe someone's climbing up the ladder. And then I turn around and this guy's just standing there, wasn't even attacking me. It's like, I really thought he died when he fell down. Ah, oh, now I won't be able to look anymore because it's fucking raining. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, well, fuck it. Um, highway look at tower. Okay, I guess that's kind of all there was here. So now we can explore up here and then check out that tree, which... If it's anything like the other trees, I think there's always like a... a what's it called? An Erd tree avatar? Um, so I guess we can expect a lot more of these mages that look just like Selen at the academy. That would make sense to me. So let's follow. Oh, interesting. See this little camp here, which I think is the camp that we cleared out last time. It doesn't show up on the map at all. The map just shows, like, the rocks and not this. Interesting. Is this the one I cleared up before? I don't see any items, so yes, I think this is the same one as last time. Uh, then let's follow the road. Oh, is this the same as last time? No, it's not. The one I saw last time was down the road. It was saying something about uh, Melania. The Second Lurnian War. No victory for the Golden, nor for the Moon. No prize but atonement. The birth of a vow. The Second Lurnian War. So that thing really is the Moon then. I assume. 
Okay, so some kind of church. Is this a Church of America? We got a side of grace. Let's touch grass. Also, yes, I know that I'm not gonna see to the side if I move my head, but it's like... <laughs> it's a reflex, you know? Church of Vows. Uh, <laughs> is that the Pope? That's the Pope of Turtles. Your Holiness. Oh, I can talk to it. Thank God. Hello. You are tarnished, aren't you? I welcome you to the You sound exactly like I expected. I am Muriel. Steward of Muriel. the Secret Chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Yeah, it's not so bad. Do you know the origin of this place? I do not. How it came to be known as the Church of Vows. Who put this hat on your head? I don't know. Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? Exactly. The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Earth Tree and the Moon were joined. The houses of the Earth Tree and the Moon. By the bond between red-haired Radagon oh, right, right. and Renala of Radagon, that's one of the bosses, so I think. our church holds in view the monuments of both houses. Oh. The Earth Tree of the Capitol. Oh. And the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Okay. But the Academy... Someone built the Academy, but the tree is just there. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. Please tell I me more about your life your as a turtle poke. My legs aren't what they used to be. Oh. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Okay, well, thanks Unless, a lot for that. Perhaps you are in search of instruction, in which case I will share. All yes, that I know. please do. Oh my god, I get pastor of vows. He's a pastor. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You can teach me sorcery, dude. Carrion greatsword. Okay, well, I don't do glint blade. Oh, he. Yes, incantations too! Grants blessing to self and nearby. Oh, I can give him the books instead of the, the, the other cleric at the round table. Blessing to self and nearby. Gradually, you're so okay, so it's like a regen. Uh, I'm gonna give a scroll. Well, I can give him the academy scroll. But maybe I should give the Academy Scroll to, like, a sorceress? Like, to, like, sell him? Celestial Dew. Do you possess any Celestial Dew? Yeah, I do have one. Then I would like to share my knowledge with you concerning the miracle of this Church of Vows. Okay. Radigan once cleansed himself with Celestial Dew, repented his territorial aggressions, and swore his love repented his number. territorial aggressions the order of the earth tree and the fate of the moon were conjoined and all the wounds of war forgiven this miracle blesses the church to this day it looks very blessed and so you need only follow radigan's example to restore any bond however strained or severed to its rightful state of harmony Restore a bond. So I'm guessing what this means is if like you turned an NPC hostile by like offending them or attacking them, this would restore them to like a neutral state. I assume. My faith does not waver. The miracle rooted in these grounds will once again mend the world. And this time, 
Its bounty will not be squandered. If you would be Elden Lord. That's the plan. Tarnished. I hope that you too will share my faith. I would love to have you as Turtle Pope once I become Elden Lord. You wish to know more of Lord Radigan. Lord Radigan was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. Huh. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband so Renala, to the, the Carian Queen. Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Earth Tree capital. Right, right. Becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort, taking the title of second Elden oh. Lord. So Radigan was an Elden, Elden Lord. As to why Lord Radigan would cast And he gave her an Renala egg, right? Aside. The amber egg. And moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden As opposed Lord. to what? You know, it's said that Lord Radigan harbored a secret. A famed sculptor of the Erd Tree capital was once summoned to render Lord Radigan's likeness in giant. Is this a weakness of his? When he glimpsed the skeleton in Radigan's closet. And as such, it's said that the great statue harbors his secret too. Interesting. You wish to know more of Lady Renala. She is queen. Head of the Karian world so she's still alive. All these people are still alive. Academy of Except Godfrey. The great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her. And then, when the, the Academy, Academy rebelled, rebelled against, against the royals, the royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. In the end, Lady Renala was left the alone. Amber egg. Cradling the amber egg, Lord Radigan. What is that egg? Her. Now she devotes herself to it through forbidden rite, the grim art of reincarnation. You would do well to remember, severing a vow, strongest of bonds, has consequences ever more dire. Okay. To experience the miracle. Kneel in the basin at the back and cleanse yourself with celestial dew. Absolution will be yours. Any bond Any moment, will be put no to matter rights. how strained or even severed will be put to rights. Well, I don't really want to do that because I don't think I've actually severed any bonds with any characters so far. To experience absolution. You know, it's said that a famed okay, so when he glimpsed the skeleton. Something about a statue of Radagon holding his secret. I'm gonna keep that in mind. Thank you for all this very useful information, kind turtle. Uh, I'm still missing the most important information, which is why are you a fucking turtle? But, you know. Atone. Okay, I don't wanna atone. What's in this? Gold sewing needle and golden tailoring tools. This would make a great gift for my boy Buck. Okay, let's do a little bit of reading. So we found some landscourt ashes. Uh, the spirits appear some distance from the summoner. The firm fleshy tubes of the creatures remain rooted to the spot, spraying poisonous liquid over their surroundings. That could be pretty useful. The Academy of Rail Lucaria towers over the north, while at its base spreads the town built around it now flooded. Two high roads end their journeys here. This is for an albinoric pot, whatever that is. Sewing needle made of gold, unique item made to alter demigod attire. One of the tools brought by Radigan when he entered into marriage with Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, and joined the Carrion line. Tailoring tools made from gold. Even demigod attire can be altered at a side of grace. Okay, so I guess I guess you can get the outfit of the demigods and then you can like modify them. Or maybe Buck can modify them for you. Magic downpour. That's our first 
such a spell. One of the sorceries of the Karen royal family. It summons a mass of magic that fires projectiles over a wide area. It's said to have been taught by the Crystallians to mark the swearing of the old Concord. We found this nice looking shield. A small wooden round shield that has been reinforced with metal. It is light and easy to handle but cannot offer the damage negation of a true metal shield. The design is said to represent the stars of the night sky, portending fate. So yeah, it's not as good as the one I have unfortunately. This one's still the best one I found. These look exactly the same. They just have slightly different stats. That's unfortunate that they look exactly the same. Alright, very interesting. So we have the Church of Bows. Cool. And there doesn't seem to be much else on this, like, plateau. Some undeads are probably gonna... What am I hearing? Grave Violet. I heard, like, some rumbling. Oh, it's another mausoleum. Fuck, that scared the shit out of me. Who? Okay, okay, okay. That scared the shit out of me. Who shot this damn arrow at me? Wait until I get my hands on them. Was it one of you? Are you one of the people that... Oh, you're just gathering berries. Oh, they look just like the guys in the Siofra River, except this one's not, like, magic. Yeah, he's one of them. But this one's not magic. Old... Palace Ruins. There's a State of America here. We got some big, like, statues. I didn't think this was gonna be, like, a weird little valley. Getting to that tree... Getting to the earth tree might be a little harder than uh, expected. Oh, it had to be one of these guys that shot an arrow at me, because they did have bows in the Siofra River, too. They love these big grizzly bears. They are everywhere. Uh, some kind of church or tower there. Unless there's a jump pad, I don't think I can climb up there. Uh, hello. Oh, that's headless. I have you as a summon. Yeah, that's Luthel the headless. Oh, I don't like what's on your sword. What is that? That's death. I thought it was like uh, petrification, but I think it's death actually. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, should I use holy for this? I think I should. Turn your back on me. Fuck. I'm 
being extra careful because like I don't want to be hit with that dead shit. Also don't stagger at all. Why are you so shiny? Really? You're just gonna die like that? Not gonna give me anything? Oh, what a bummer. What are you protecting? Catacomb? Belloom Highway. Oh no, okay, it is Catacombs. Black Knife. Black Knife Catacomb. The Beast Eye Quivers. Wait. Black Knife? Is this like the place I was looking for? The map that uh, Fia gave me? Oh, it is! A black knife print. This is it, this is the place. Their body just fell to the ground and that's it. Huh. Did they respawn? Oh, they do. Oh, that's not fair. I just get to kill this guy over and over again. So was that map just telling me there's this guy here? It only gives 400 whenever I kill them. Hmm. Why would Fia lead me to this guy? He didn't even drop anything for me, so... I guess I just have to clear out these catacombs then. Ah, oh, fucking... Skeleton. Okay, well I'm good with Skeleton. I have my holy sword with me. I don't mind fighting Skeleton. I much prefer that over these fucking little imps. They have like a weird aura. Uh, another stone sword key just for one item. Hello. What are you doing outside of Stormvale? I thought these guys were only in Stormvale. Okay, how many do I need? One? I guess, but the last time the item really wasn't worth it, it was just like a helmet. A Rose's Axe. I'm not gonna be using this axe, so... It was kind of a waste again, but there's no way to know until you've actually... ...tried, so, you know. It is what it is. These guys even attack you. They're not even worth killing. 
Uh, can get through that. Oh, there is a big mama crab. Let's take care of it quickly. A rune arc? Oh, there's another crab. Crab eggs. Uh, that doesn't tell me how to open that door, though. You're killing your own babies! Okay, is the door gonna open now? Maybe... Did I have to use the crab to break the wall? Is that the idea? Or is there like some secret passage here? I think maybe I had to use the crab for the door. Hmm. Wait, no, that doesn't seem right. Did I missed something? I sure did. The only thing I can see is that I had to use the crabs to break the wall. That seems kind of a weird... It seems like a weird thing. Right, I'm gonna use some of these runes that I keep finding to level up. Let's just keep putting points in fate, I guess. Like, how much did I need for that... that uh, scythe? 24! I mean, there is this side that looks pretty good. I could try the other side that costs way less. Alright, let's just run to those crabs and see if they can break the door somehow. That's my only guess. Oh, maybe I can get on the blades. Because the blades were going up. Didn't even think of that. I sure can. Okay, hold on. It'd have been better if I'd thought of that one minute earlier, but. Whatever. But you see that the statues on the wall are of the fucking watchdog. Mm. But it's not gonna be a watchdog. The boss can't be that because there's a death root in here. And the watchdogs don't give death roots. Punch me with your little scaly arm. I love how they tap their heads when they get up. They're like, boop, boop. Oh my god, there's fucking invisible walls. Are you kidding me? 
Oh no, that means I could have been hitting walls this whole time. Um, and I hope they're rare and like very obvious. Oh, is, does this mean that this place has two bosses? Hey! I was just about to summon you. Oh, he's fast. Oh, he's very fast. Whoa! Okay, calm the fuck down. Oh, he reduced my health. Wow, you are very fast. And this one has all of his health, unlike the other one I saw. Oh, calm the fuck down. Calm down. Oh, I can't summon here. That's why I couldn't do it. Alright, calm down, calm down. Okay, okay, okay. I see how it is. See, my, my error was that as soon as I got in there, I tried to summon my wolves. And it doesn't look like you can summon for this fight, because it's not like THE fight of this dungeon, it's, it's like an extra fight. So, uh, now I'm gonna know not to do that. I also know he's very fast. Uh, he can grab you. I'm gonna try and use my holy on that Black Knife Assassin. We did see a Black Knife Assassin very early in the game, but uh, it had like half its health missing. And it was in a much bigger area. Wow, you're really gonna take away my health before I even get to the boss. You motherfucker. That's on me. That was careless. I should have just ran straight to the boss. Just get in there. Ooh, not that weak to it. Where are my souls at? And you are fast. Ooh. Damn, he's fast. Yo, why would you send me to this dude? Holy shit. He is very fast. Might be a girl, actually. He's got kind of a... Kind of a girly body. I can take him, I just need to... Play better. And not, like, lose all my heals. But, but like... But they really don't give you much time to heal. Because they're very fast. And also, I forgot to use my flask before I got in there. It's not stagger much. See, the small room also helps me. I really wish you would stagger more. Don't grab me. Ooh. Give me some time to get my fucking... Stamina back. Don't fuck. Okay, I can still I can still heal. Heal. Don't fucking grab me. I keep running out of fucking stamina. Why am I not getting my stamina back? I mean, I know I'm dodging a lot, but still. Oh, 
Ah, da. Just keep hitting him. I think you're better off just hitting him. Been waiting, yeah. Assassin killing. Oh my god, is this gonna give me FP back for backstabs? Black knife print. Okay, so this is what Fia was looking for. Whew. My heart's racing. That was a difficult one. But I still need to. There we go. Now we're on the other side of the gate. Makes perfect sense. Somewhere a heavy door has opened. Fucking mine. You know what? Fuck you. I don't have time for you. Motherfucker. Almost killed me. Amazing. Do not follow me, you're not invited. I. Now let's see what the actual boss of this place is. That wasn't it. It might just be another watchdog. Although, we didn't find a death root. So I don't think the beast eye was reacting to the black knife. Oh no, another... Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, I hate this fucking thing. Oh, it's so creepy. And this one has... This one has skeleton with it. Are you still weak to holy? It is. Still weak to holy, but... Damn, that was a fast blood loss. Shit. Fucking cemetery shade. I'm glad like they don't have a lot of health. Because they are so creepy. One hit. To win Sage Sorcerer Ashes. Alright. It died in like one hit. <laughs> it's extremely weak to holy. And also doesn't have a lot of help. Another dead root. Right. Well, let's go see what Fia has to say about that. I wonder if now Dialos won't be at the round table anymore? I really hope I didn't mess up his side quest by not finding that girl fast enough, but like, that was my first time passing through there, so I really couldn't have been there any earlier. Alright, let's talk to everyone. Well then. May the golden order. I don't need you anymore, I have a fucking turtle poke. <sighs> Nothing new with you. Hey man. Ah, the recusants sent a lucky. Can you believe they invited me to join them? Now, after what they did, I can scarcely believe it myself. Did they think me a fool? You might be surprised to learn I took them up on the offer. Then I only had to ask. The location of the, the recusant, recusant hideout. hideout. It's on Mount Gelmir, found off the old road that leads west from the town of Windmills. That's where they hide. The manor on the peak. You mean the volcano Just manor? You wait, manor? wretched recusants. You'll rue the day you insulted my name by laying hands on Lanya. The tale of House Hoslo is told, told in, in blood. blood, after all. House Hoslo send their regards, do they? Um, 
the, the town of windmills that doesn't sound familiar at all so i guess i just haven't been there mount gelmir, mount gelmir. Found off the old road that leads west from the town of windmills okay that's where they hide just you wait the, the manor of... i'm guessing it's talking about the volcano manor always good to see you safe so oh i can give him the black knife print uh can I also give it to Fia? Do I have to make a choice? Well, I took you to my match. Lay out your own. I can level up my sword. Sure. This one. I'm not sure. I wish you could upgrade the shield to block more, but all it does is give it more physical damage, which I don't care about. I am pleased. Would you like me? Now. Let's talk in secret. Just lay my head against your bosom. Ah, the black knife print. Dear Roger likes to talk of it when abed, the ancient plot in which the first of the demigods was slain. The black knives wielded by the assassins along with the impressions they made. They hide the truth Somehow of the conspiracy. Dear Roger, the ancient okay, well, I black found one, along with the but I can't... Okay, so I guess all I can do is give it to Roger. I mean, it sounds like Roger should not be pursuing whatever it is he's pursuing, because uh, he was nice and healthy when we first met him, and now he's got, like... Half his body is missing, corrupted by whatever dead shit he's been messing with. But I don't know what else I'm supposed to be doing with this, so let's just give it to him. Oh, this is a black knife print. I can scarcely believe you managed to get your hands on this. You recall our conversation about the Knight of the Black Knives, yes? Yeah. They say the assassins who carried out the deed were scions of the Eternal City. A group entirely of women, arrayed in okay. armor of silver under cloaks which fooled the eye. The knives they wielded, though, were imparted with the power of the Rune of Death through the Rune of Death. Rise. Please, I beg of you, lend me the knife print for a time. I'd love nothing more than to tease out its. I'm secrets. sure you would, but maybe you shouldn't. Though only a fragment. A very specific ritual had to be performed to impart the power of the Rune of Death. Traces of the one who performed the rite are sure to remain in the imprint. Half my body has been suffused with death. I'm certain it will help me see. Ah, my body has been suffused with death. Okay. My very good, very sweet, very kind, very sexy friend, Francis, told me that if you rest at a side of grace, it counts to like move NPC quests forward. Let's see about that. Oh, Dialos is gone. Ah, oh, hello. I was hoping to see you. Anything new? My examination is complete. Here's the knife print back, with my thanks. Okay. Now I have a fairly good idea who performed the rite upon the blade. The person who orchestrated the Knight of the Black Knives. Okay. Lunar Princess Rani. One of the children born to King Consort Radigan and his first wife, Ronala. Demigod and sister to General Radan and Praetor Rikard. Hers was the name I discovered in the imprint. Truly, you have my thanks. But, if I might be so bold, I would like to ask something more of you. If Rani truly is the one who plotted that fateful night, then she should bear the curse mark of destined death somewhere upon her flesh. I would like you to procure it for me. And then, all will be laid bare. I will have the answers I have sought for so long. Rani? Wait, Rani orchestrated the Nine of Black Knives? So Rani is the reason why Godfrey was murdered? And she's the princess? I just thought she was like some witch. Rani is the blue witch we met, right? 
I'm remembering that right. So she's the daughter of Radigan and Renala? How could she orchestrate the Knight of Black Knights and why? And now he wants me to get something from her. Does that mean I'm gonna have to kill her? I have some idea of Rani's potential whereabouts. There's a manor to the north of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. It is the familial home of the Carian royals. Oh, is that the same manor as Dialos? There's been talk of the old royals' vassals gathering there in recent years. Rani's whereabouts since the shattering are a well-kept secret. She but I saw her even once. But I suspect she might have returned to the manner in which she was born. Why do you want a curse mark? I'm afraid there's something I must tell you. Yeah? Do you know of those who live in death? Yeah. The very notion of life in death defies the golden order. By Dee's account, these defiled fiends must be expunged. But truth be told, I seek the curse mark to save them. You may find this peculiar. But I discovered something in my examination of the Knight of the Black Knives. These souls have committed no offense. They have every right to life, only they happen to touch upon a flaw in the Order. So you want to bring them back from death? D thinks they should be like exterminated and this guy wants to save them? Yes, indeed. If D knew what drives me now, he would surely boil over with rage. Mm. Or perhaps... He would even feel some pity, but no need to fret. None of that will come to pass. I can tell a good lie when I need to. Well, I could tell him. If Lunar Princess Rani truly Lunar is the Princess one who plotted that fateful night, then she should bear the curse mark of destined death somewhere Destin upon her flesh. Death. Would you be willing to procure? She may have returned to the Royal Karian Resident. The plot hella tickens. Can I tell D about this? I can't. Interesting. A manor north of Royal Lucaria. It's I guess it's somewhere like here. It must be there. But it's not visible on the map yet. Very interesting. Actually, let me just talk to Fia again about Roger. I heard that you lent a hand to dear Roger. Roger. He seemed positively elated. Mm. He must be possessed of great mental fortitude. Seems very cheerful it for someone who's missing half his body now. And sustains him. Despite his grievous wounds, you truly are a champion to dear Roger and myself too. Oh, she give me a twig. Then good day to you, my dear. Okay. Mark of the Night of the Black Knives Ritual. On the Night of the Black Knives, someone stole a fragment of death from Malikit the Black Blade. A fragment of death imbued its power into the assassin's daggers. This mark is evidence of the ritual and hides the truth of the conspiracy. On the Night of the Dire Plot, the stolen rune of death enabled the first death of a demigod. Later, the rune of death spread across the lands through the underground roots of the great tree, spreading in the form of death root. That's all uh, pretty interesting. That seems like a major side quest. I still don't really know what's going to be like just the side quest and what's going to be maybe necessary for the main like story to progress. But uh, we're going to try to do everything regardless. So that's all the time I have for today. We're gonna keep exploring the northern part next time and then uh, I guess make our way... Oh, we still need that glenstone key. I, I don't really know where we're gonna find that, but I guess if we keep exploring these lakes, we're gonna find one eventually. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe. If you want early access to the videos, you can subscribe to the Patreon. It's all the same stuff I say in every fucking video, but <laughs> you know I have to do it. Thank you to everyone who leaves comments and uh, likes the video and just for being here on the channel, interacting with the videos and uh, I really, really appreciate it. I had fun playing this. I hope you had fun watching it and I hope you catch me in the next episode for more Elden Ring. See y'all.